a really cool coffee shop called James Coffee, which is Peter McKinnon's probably favorite coffee shop. If I hang around here long enough, I might come across Peter McKinnon. Who knows? I'm psychic. What you're about to see are clips of me freaking out and being embarrassing and fangirling and uh, just just being a weirdo. So I just want to explain to you guys before I show you those that I am a huge fan of Peter McKinnon. What's up? And there he is. Hey. There's Peter McKinnon. <laughs> you know, you actually kind of look like him. I've heard that before. You know Wait, what? Wait, hold on. I need the backwards cap if I'm going to be Peter McKinnon. Hey, hey, do the. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here, and. <laughs> oh, damn, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good, dude. Well, there he is. There's Peter McKinnon, guys. Hey. Like I was saying, I met him. <laughs> good, good replacement. It wasn't a clickbait, the, the, the title was right. I was trying to explain what I'm about to show people. So this is how the video is going to start. Oh, what are you, what are you showing people? I was, the how I was freaking out and fangirling over. Oh, I see. Over, so I was just trying to say like, um, you're about to see embarrassing like videos of me freaking out and fangirling. <laughs> but the reason is because I'm just a big fan. So like, sue me. This morning I saw an Instagram picture of him being in San Diego. But, uh, you know, I was like, whatever, and he may as well not be in town because what are the chances of me bumping into him? But uh, I do go to James Coffee a lot. I obviously thought it would be really cool to bump into him, but I 100% knew for a fact that I would, there would be no chance in hell that I would happen to be there in the same section, 30 minute section of time in this universe as him. So I didn't expect that. So I didn't even bring my camera with me from my car. I was just chilling there having a and then I saw him vlogging and I pulled out my phone and I freaked out and I fangirled and so that's what you're about to see. That's Peter McKinnon. He's here. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. There he is. There he is. My heart beat. He's vlogging. I'm gonna go get my vlog camera. He went to his car to get to do something. I'm gonna go get my vlogging camera, and then I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Peter McKinnon, look at me. I'm as well, also a vlogger." <laughs> He's gonna be creeped out. I know I'm gonna creep him out. Peter's one of my favorite YouTubers. Him and Casey are tied for number one. I watch their stuff on the daily. It's like a vlogger's dream come true. I'm changing the battery on my camera because it is gonna die. Soon. He just got on the scene, so I don't think he'll leave. Putting the camera on my uh, stabilizer here. Okay, I was thinking about just rolling up with my camera, but I think that would be disrespectful, so I'm gonna ask him first if he's okay with being in my vlog, because I don't want to just creep up on him with my camera and he's not ready. I don't think that would be very respectful, so I'm gonna walk up with my camera down, and then I'm gonna ask him if he's okay with being in my vlog and saying hello and stuff like that. I'm gonna be so awkward, guys. Ugh. I talked to Peter McKinnon. I, I didn't I didn't film. I didn't film. Um, I didn't want to be weird. I didn't want to weird him out. Um, he was there doing his thing, but um, I did happen to get a picture with him, in case you guys don't believe me. But he was really nice. He's really tall. I just talked to him. I said hello. I told him he's cool. And uh, we chatted for a little bit, and then he headed out. It'd be nice if, he, if I got a little clip in the vlog with him but uh yeah like I said I didn't want to be I didn't want to be rude or weird about it and you know stick a camera in his face and force him into my vlog San Diego. I can see why Peter McKinnon came down here. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Ah, it's perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, guys. That was anticlimactic. I know that. Okay, it was all exciting at first. I had my phone out and I was creeping on him, and then 
and then it just cut off. I went and got my camera and then it just cut off and here I am at the beach. Here's what happened when I met him. Um, I, we chatted for a little bit. I told him that I steal a lot of his ideas. He laughed and then, uh, you know, I asked him what he was doing here. He said he was collaborating with Casey Neistat in LA and all that and we talked and then I, uh, I, I was like, hey, do you mind like saying hello to my vlog? And he was already in a rush to leave and he's like, I'm sorry, man, I gotta go. And so that's, you know, he's like, I can give you a, a quick picture. And so that's, that's all that I was able to uh, get with him. But, you know, it's okay. And I, I didn't want to like pull out my camera anyways without asking because I didn't, I, I, I didn't want to creep him out or anything. Like, I didn't want to be weird with it. Um, I already did creep on him with the little clip that I got with my phone. Maybe someday I'll work my way up the YouTube ranks and, and naturally collaborate with him. I don't know. <laughs> or I can dream. Anyways, so that's my little story of how I ran into Peter McKinnon, which is completely bizarre. And uh, I just, it was awesome. He's a really nice guy in person. Really tall. Uh, and just, just, just the nicest guy, like the way he is in the videos. Yeah, I'm sorry if this was uh, a little less exciting. I wish I would have gotten some videos with him, but um, yeah, that, you know, that's how, that's how it goes. I'm gonna go enjoy this sunset, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. So long.